This is one of my favorite, favorite quotes. Life will give you whatever experience is most helpful for the evolution of your consciousness. How do you know this is the experience you need? Because this is the experience you are having at this moment. Yes. Which is true for you as an individual and which is true for our culture, which is true for our world right now. How do we know this is the experience we need? Because this is the experience we are having. Yes. Because that's the way each person's personal evolution operates, right? Yes. Well, there's a certain inevitability about whatever form this moment takes because Mm -hmm. this moment is connected to all the previous moments. So the entire universe has conspired to bring about the form that this moment takes. You can't argue with it because if you argue with the present moment, uh, that's suffering and it's crazy. I'm so very grateful to Oprah Winfrey. Ever since I was a little girl, I watched her programs on TV. And now, 30 years later, 30, 40 years later, (laughs) I've been watching this clip. And I want people to remember that it's not just about ourselves, that everything is exactly the way it's supposed to be in this moment. But also, I want to help people remember that this fear that we have about the future in general, about the future of humanity and the future of the planet, the same principle should apply to us as it does to this moment that we're in, in this moment where people have different beliefs and people are struggling to awaken and the planet is releasing all these energies from so many people and it creates a lot of fear. But there's no fear or healing for the planet in, a, in, in this moment with fear, with fear, fear of you know, the planet, what's going to happen, it's not going to help to heal things. So I made this video just to share this idea because I want to take Eckhart Tolle and Oprah Winfrey's idea one step further and apply it to how we're at the perfect moment for awakening on this planet right now. Trust and allow. Just feel those words, trust. Trust in the fact that exactly what is happening in your life at this moment is a miracle of millions and billions of activities coming together to create this moment in your life. And not only trust that this is the moment for you, but also trust this is the moment for humanity as well even though sometimes it seems like we're going through a a moment of chaos or a hiccup in the awakening process, in order for things to get to the next perfect moment, exactly the way that moment is supposed to be, everything has to be in this moment exactly the way it is. So trust and allow, allow, What does allow mean? Allow means get out of your mind, thinking, worrying, wondering, looking for solutions. And allow means connecting yourself to that dissension of higher self into your heart center. Allow. Allow that connection. Allow that descending ascension process in yourself. Allow the awareness. Allow the presence. Allow the emotions and the feelings. Trust the emotions and the feelings. You can handle them. You wouldn't be having this experience if you couldn't handle it. If it wasn't exactly what your soul needs in this moment to grow, if it wasn't exactly what you agreed to work through, what you agreed to process when you came here. So trust, trust, and allow. Allowing is allowing others to be the way they are and it's loving and allowing yourself to be who you are as well because who you are is also a miracle of 
billions of combinations of synergies and universal energy coming together in one moment when you were born. So our lives are an evolution miracle and we are exactly where we're supposed to be in this moment. So in her interview with Eckhart Tolle, Oprah asks if the planet really is going through the awakening of the new earth, like he mentioned in his book. And I believe, I want to add a little bit to this because I see some wonderful future changes. And one of those things is that the children that are being born on the planet at this time have a much more awakened heart center. And we are all working towards having a much more awakened heart center. So the children that are being born now are awakened, connected, open. Many of them are not willing to live lives any longer that are not ecological, ethical, in many, many different ways. Not all the children, but a very large percent of people are being born now in this time with a more connected, more um, awakened perspective. And this gives me a lot of faith and a lot of hope and a lot of trust and allow material as well because when I see the future and the generation coming up, I do see um, a challenging uh, transition, but just like um, the way things have to swing back and forth like a pendulum until they get into balance, the same thing happens. The things have to swing very far on a you know bad ecological way and then swing back in a really uh, large uh, healing the planet way and we go through this as people too. We go through an awakening and we go back into the dark night of the soul and the pendulum swings from the Democrats to the Republicans back and forth. It splits all the people, uh, at least in the US, even though I'm in Mexico and I'm from Canada, I sort of watch everything that's happening. And this is all part of this perfect process for the awakening. The awakening that Eckhart Tolle talks about in The New Earth and the question that Oprah Winfrey asks him is very interesting because yes there is a huge mm, dumping of all of this heavy emotional energy and lifting off the earth lifting off the astral planes of the earth all this heavy energy being just um, washed away from us and from humans in general and from the earth in general and this is like basically having a big vomit on the planet right now <laughs> or a big detox or whatever you want to call it. So I think what we have to recognize is that this switch and this swing is going to go back and forth. The pendulum is going to push one way and then the other until we end up in a healthy place where there's more balance. There's going to be more balance between the masculine and feminine energy. There's going to be more balance between the left and the right. There's going to be more balance between the conservatives and the liberals. There's going to be more balance between, um, you know, so many things. And the economic greed that we have been living for the last few hundred years on the planet, switching now to a more minimalistic, more like when we go to the hippie era where we don't even care and we can just live on the street in some rags and now we're coming to a place where we can live a good decent life healthy with a little bit of abundance and not too much keeping things in balance and this is the way the awakening is happening on this planet so trust and allow don't get discouraged Keep your mindset in a high, positive, heart-centered vibration, that golden light of your heart center, of your beautiful sun ball heart center just exploding out into your world in every cell of your body. Keep that higher 
vibrational, positive, beautiful, trusting, with a faith. It doesn't have to be a religious faith. It doesn't have to be a... doesn't matter what you believe, what your belief systems are. Faith is just this knowing that things are exactly the way they should be in this moment. And I'll leave you with that simple message.